BMW had two new models to augment its all new 5 Series. The first is going to be a sleeper, the M550i with 456 horsepower and more importantly 480 pound-feet of torque on tap. It'll get the riders to 100 kilometers an hour in four seconds flat. Now if performance isn't up your alley and you like fuel economy, well there's always the 530e. It uses a two-liter engine, an electric motor and a large battery that you plug in to recharge to deliver exceptional fuel economy. No numbers were given, but if it's anywhere near as good as its smaller 330e sibling, it promises to be a fuel miser of the first order. The Audi Q8 concept speaks very loudly to the 2018 model that will roll out at the end of this year or early next. Rather than being a regular crossover, it puts luxury into something that has the ability to take you just about anywhere. Four very comfortable seats, all of the latest amenities and what it ends up giving Audi is a pretty serious 1-2 flagship punch. On the one side, the new Q8, on the other, the soon to be released A8 sedan. Mercedes-Benz decided to pull the wraps off its new E400 coupe at the North American International Auto Show. Now this thing really is very swanky. Two 12.3 inch screens combined to look as though it's one massive screen. You've also got seating for four, although in this case it's very much a two plus two. With the front seats all the way back, next to no legroom, and the rear seat itself is split by cup holders. All of that said, it promises to make some very happy owners down the road. The version that intrigues me, however, is the inevitable E63 AMG. That's a quick look at three of the biggest launches from the Europeans at this year's North American International Auto Show. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca.